Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand how to solve these kind of questions. Now this looks really, really tricky. And trust me, the answer for this one also was not that easy. Okay. So let's understand how do you do this. See, first thing what we can figure out is that I can write 8 as nothing but what 2 raised to 3, the whole raised to x. Here I will continue to write the rest of the question as it is. Now I know that since a raised to m, the whole raised to n can be written as nothing but a raised to m into n. This is the law of indices. Okay, so here also I can write this as nothing but what 2 raised to 3x plus 2 raised to x equals to 130. Now after this, no students, we are stuck. We are not able to do anything in this case. So what we'll do is, see, we can have 2 raised to x. Let's try and keep 2 raised to x as nothing but u. So your question then changes to u cube plus u equals to 130. Now instead of 130 being that side, on that side of the equal to, let's subtract it, take it this side. And then you can write it as 0. Now this looks like a cubic equation and I have already explained how to do synthetic division in order to understand how to solve a cubic equation. Those of you who do not know how to do this, please go ahead and check the link given on top because in that I have literally taken lots and lots of examples. Okay, here now what happens is see understand whenever you want to do synthetic division you need to try and substitute the value of u in such a way that that entire value on LHS becomes equals to 0. So that if you see it doesn't happen for 1, doesn't happen for 2, nor does it happen for 3, nor does it happen for 4, but it happens for 5. Because when you put u value as 5, what happens is you get 125 because u cube is uh, 125 and u which is what just 5 minus 130 that gets you the 0. So therefore I can say u equals to 5 satisfies this particular equation. Okay, I hope this is very very clear to you all. If you don't know, if you don't get this entire thing to be equal to 0, you can't go ahead from this particular step. Okay, so you need to figure out a value in such a way that that entire equation comes out to be 0. Okay. Now coming back to the point of synthetic division. So what happens in synthetic division is that we'll take the value of uh, u which we got as 5 over here and then we will start solving. Okay, you make a L. Basically this is what you do. Then you start writing the coefficients from the highest degree of your equation. So you have u cube, the coefficient for u cube is 1. You do not have a u square. So in case when you don't have a coefficient or you don't have any particular value of u square means the coefficient of that one will be 0. And yes, you have to have to take into account that particular value as well. Okay, while this you have to start from the highest value and then go up to the lowest one. But in case you don't have any values like in this case, you do not have a u square. Then in that place, you take the coefficient as 0. Now you have 1 for u and for the constant, just the value is 130, but it is negative. Now, what you do next is you write this 1 directly down. Then you multiply 1 with 5, you get the answer as 5. Then you add 5 and 0, you get the answer as 5. Then you add, sorry, you multiply 5 and 5, you get 25. Add 1 to 25, you will get 26. Now you will multiply 5 with this answer, 26, you get 130. And 130 minus 130 gets you 0. Please understand there is another check while doing a synthetic division. Here, this box has to be 0. If this is not coming out to be 0, means you have done something wrong while doing your synthetic division. Okay? So now in this case, what will happen is see, now this is your equation or this is the rest of the equation which you need to solve. 
so your first value first factor is nothing but u minus 5 the next factor is what see here what happens is you will go from your right to left so you will have plus 26 then you have plus 5u and then you have just u squared because that is 1 okay and this is still equals to 0 so now you know the value of u is either 5 or I can say u square plus 5u plus 26 is equals to 0 now this is a quadratic okay and please understand here if in case your value of u comes out to be negative or it comes out to be uh, complex then in that case we'll have to discard that particular value because u is nothing but what it is in the form of an index which is 2 raised to x so let's try to find out the value of delta delta okay let me write it a little bit below for you all to understand what do you do mean by delta delta is nothing but what finding the value of b square minus 4ac now those of you know how to do quadratic you know exactly what i'm talking about but those who are new i'll tell you here this is your a x square or rather in this case it is a u square plus b u plus c so here you know what is the value of b the value of b will be nothing but what 5 the value of a will be 1 and the value of c is 26 so let's put the value b square is what 25 minus 4 into a that is 1 4 into 1 into c that is 26 so here you will have 25 minus 104 now when you subtract 25 from 104 the answer comes out to be negative and if the answer is negative means that entire thing becomes complex like i had already disclosed before that we do not need complex roots or complex values for this particular question because our job is not to find the value of u you need to find the value of x so here i will have to completely disregard this particular value okay and we will consider value of u as nothing but 5 now since we know value of u was 5 and we know value of u was what 2 raised to x equals to 5 in this case what you can do is see we can take log on both sides now for your lhs remember log of a to the raised to power m can be written as m comes ahead and you just multiply it with log a so similarly this becomes x log 2 equals to log 5 so final answer of x is nothing but just log 5 upon log 2 or or you can also write log 5 to the base 2 because there is another rule in log which says log of a upon log of b can also be written as log of a to the base b so this value is also okay so here i will say to, in order to solve this entire sum the value of x is either log of 5 upon log 2 or log of 5 to the base log 2 or sorry to the base 2 okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video